Node.js is a JavaScript runtime environment that allows us to run JavaScript directly on a computer rather than just in the browser. By installing Node.js on a Raspberry Pi, we'll be able to control everything using JavaScript. Start by opening up a terminal window and then log into the Pi using SSH. Enter your password. Different versions of the Raspberry Pi sometimes require a different version of Node to be installed. So we're just gonna use a script that will handle all of this for us and install the correct version of Node. Open up your browser and navigate to github.com slash meech dash ward slash node.js dash raspberry dash pi. Now scroll down to the first script that uses wget and copy this entire line of code all the way up to the end of bash. Head back over to your terminal window, paste that in and hit enter. This will only take a moment, but it will install the current version of Node for us. Once this is finished, we should have Node installed and we can test this out by typing in Node and pressing enter which will put us into the node REPL where we can start typing in JavaScript. So I could create a new variable. I could console log that variable. And then to exit, I just press control D. Let's now create a JavaScript file and run that using node. So first I wanna create a directory, mcdir, I'm just gonna call this lesson eight. Then I'm gonna cd into that directory. We can use most command line text editors to write code directly on the Pi. I'm gonna use nano because it comes pre-installed on the Pi. Let's type in nano and then app.js to create a file called app.js. Now I can start writing some JavaScript. So let's start simple. We'll just create a script that prints out a string a certain number of times. So maybe the string is fuzzy bunny and maybe the number of times is 10. So I can just do this with a simple for loop. Okay, my script looks good. Now I can exit and save by pressing Control X and then by pressing Y and then enter to save the file. So now if I list the contents of my directory, I can see app.js right there. I can use the cat application to see the contents of my file quickly. And yep, that's all the JavaScript I wrote. And now we can run this file using node app.js. And there we go, fuzzy bunny printed out 10 times to the console. The Raspberry Pi now has node installed on it, which means that we can start writing JavaScript and executing it on the Raspberry Pi. Take some time to play around with this a little bit. And when you're ready, I'll see you in the next lesson.